Okay, so we're going to look at how to launch Python, uh, not through the from the start menu of the idle environment, but how to launch it from the command line. So at the command line, we need to just type uh, py to see if Python should launch. Now, if it's not uh, uh, if it's not installed, or if it can't find the path, I'm going to get an error. Uh, and the error will be something like this. So it may be you get an error, but it just can't find where it's located. So let's look at how you solve that problem. Okay. Uh, so here, actually here I'm an explorer. You can see there's my Python folder, Python 3.4. Uh, I can see in here, actually Python is installed. If I double click on Python here, it launches uh, the Python environment at that point. Alternatively, I can come down to, pardon me, go to my looking glass, the search, and type command, cmd, launch a command window. Okay, and if I type pi here, it should find it, and it does. It does. You can see there, I'm in Python. I can type print hello world, and it prints it. Okay, to exit, it's exit, and uh, round brackets. Okay, uh, if it didn't launch it, so if I typed pi and it didn't launch Python, it could be, and if you, you know you know that it's actually here and it's installed because you can find it, um, what you need to do is navigate to that point. Okay, so we're going to go to, so I know that my Python is stored in here. Okay, so I've got my C folder. Got Python 34, and there's my Python.exe file is stored, and I have another folder called Python code, and that's where my code is stored. Okay, now you might have a situation where you've got network drives. So if you're in it, like in a school or a work environment, it's quite likely that you're not on the same drive where the, the software is installed. So you could be on a J drive, a K drive, an N drive, and so on. So I want to show you how to change from a drive back to the drive where the, the software is installed. And then how to get on uh, get onto the code, okay? And so let's just go back to pardon me where we were. Sorry. Okay. So if I'm here and it can't find Pi, I need to navigate to the folder where Python.exe is is uh, uh, is um, stored. So I've got to cd back to root. Okay. So I'm here. So cd backslash brings me back to the base back back to the, the start of the hard drive and then I'm going to change directory cd into the name of the folder so mine is python 34 here I am and so it tells me that I'm here I'm in c I'm on the c drive c colon backslash because I'm on the c drive this is the folder that I'm on so it's like I have come down here and come here that's what I've done so far and then I am going to uh, just do a dir make sure python is there so there's my python and from here i can launch python and it launches it okay so print found three it prints three okay if however um uh, let's say you were pardon me uh, let's say when you logged on or you came into the command window that you were on some sort of network drive so let's say i'm on I'm on D, for example. So I've got a network drive D. So I'm on D. I need to get back to C. Or you need to get back to the drive on which Python is installed. Okay, so to switch from one drive to another, you simply type the drive letter. So C colon and return. So I'm now back at C. So D brings me to the D drive. So if I try to do CD Python 34 from here, I'm going to get an error because that path, it doesn't exist on C. On D, it exists on C. So I've got to go back to C. Go to Python 34, check my file is there with dir directory, here it is, python.exe, and, and python, uh, and it runs it for me. Okay, if you want to uh, fix the path, um, so, so when you first installed Python, you probably got an option there to install the, the idle, and there was a tick box there to uh, set up the path. If you didn't tick the box, it wouldn't it wouldn't launch Python when you find it. So you type the py, you get an error. Okay, so what you can do is at the command line, type this command here, um, pardon me, and um, that 
would set the path then to point to Python. So obviously this bit here, you give it the path structure. Okay, so it's a little bit more complex, but hopefully you have the idle environment uh, there and you can uh, run your code. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to run something from Python. Okay, so I'm now in Python. Uh, sorry, here we go. So, so when you're at this sort of shell window, it's uh, it's it's not quite as nice as having the you know a nice the nice sort of GUI interface. Uh, but even from here, if I just do a dir, I get a list of all my files. Okay, so I'm going to run Python, uh, and the code I'm going to run is on Python code. So that's my folder where I've stored my stuff, and I've got a program called First GUI dot py. So Python my drive, where the code is stored, the folder it's stored in, and what the name of the code is. So you see why it's handy to have a short path name here. Uh, otherwise, you've got, you, know, you have to make sure you give the full path name. Okay, I'm going to run that. Okay, and it runs the code. And here, this is my first GUI. Uh, 